Hello everyone, I'm Paul. Welcome to Jelen Outdoors. Today I've got a small project. What we're going to be doing is we're going to repair this wheelbarrow. And specifically, the handle. We have one handle here, and on this side, you can see it's been broken. My wife was using the wheelbarrow, and she overloaded it, and she broke it. She's a strong lady. So, what are we going to repair it with? We're going to repair it with this log here. Check out my last video where I cut this tree down and I used a piece for creating a bat and now I'm going to use this piece to create a new wheelbarrow handle. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two. I'm going to replace the one that's good yet so that we have a matching pair. After I cut this up on the sawmill, we'll see in a minute, I'm going to finish it off by hand carving with the draw knife. Let's get over to the sawmill. Alrighty, I've got the log on the mill. It's locked in place and ready to cut. I'm going to cut it on all four sides so that I end up with a cant. And from that point on, I'll make some dimensional lumber to make the arms on the wheelbarrow. Let's get the mill started.
Okay, I've taken it from a round tree into four sided piece of lumber. The next step is to cut it into the dimensions that I need. For the wheelbarrow handles, I'm looking at one and three quarter inch for the height and for the width, one and a half inches. So let's get that cutting done. So I flip the wood to the best side. I want the top wood. The rest of the wood I'll just use for scrap lumber. Okay, the wood's all cut up. It's very difficult to cut small wood on the mail like this. What I have to do is pause the camera and I probably took about 10 minutes to get it locked into place. There's uh, the log clamp here. It's not ideal for small lumber. What happens is it wants to twist the wood all the time when you put the clamp down low on the bottom. Let's take a look at what we've got. I've got four pieces here. Two of them I'm just going to use for lumber for whenever have another project and two of them are actually for the wheelbarrow this is basically the piece for the wheelbarrow here I have to unlock it here and that's the second piece so we've got our two, two pieces of hardwood the next step is to uh, put, bring them back to the wheelbarrow, mark the location of the holes that need to be drilled, and also the handle has to be carved with the draw knife. Let's get over to the wheelbarrow. I don't know if you noticed or not, but when I cut the wood on the mill, there was a bit of a bow. I think the wood was underneath quite a bit of stress. When I look at it, I can see the curvature or the bow in it. For the wheelbarrow application, that's not a big deal. It will actually play nice. It will actually I'll set it up so that when the handles are placed, that it's the bows are going on the outside, so it gives you a little bit more body room. I did cut the wood a little bit longer than what the current handles are. I'll show you that. I put it down at the end. You can see here that I've got about four I have about four inches longer. The reason for that is that I wanted longer handles. I felt like these handles here are too short. So the next step is to take this handle off. And once I have this handle off, I'll drill some holes uh, in line with the one that's here. And then after that, we'll carve down the handle with a draw knife. Let's take the wheelbarrow apart. all apart I place the handles up on the saw horses next thing to do is to drill the holes there's four on the top side and one underneath 
So what I'll do is I'll line them up, use the good arm from the wheelbarrow to do both of the new arms. So let's get it done. drilled uh, they're off a little bit I didn't do any measuring obviously the reason for that is that I use a larger bit therefore I have a lot of play I can adjust it accordingly now as mentioned earlier the wood is very stressed so I wasn't too worried about where the holes were lining up okay let's put it together it got quite dark last night while I was drilling the hole so I left the assembly for the wheelbarrow to be done today Let's get it done. The last step is to take the draw knife and carve down the handles. I'm going to flip over the wheelbarrow and then I'll bring you in closer to see the carving. So to make the handles I can use the old handles as a template or I can just make the grips the size I want which is what I'm going to do. It's going to be much more comfortable. Also I'm going to just make a marking to how far I want to come in with the draw knife. I'm coming in eight inches on each handle. This is my draw knife. I also use it in my last video to make a bat or to whittle down a bat before I put it on the wood lay. Just going to adjust the draw knife. Handles open up. And now I can start carving. All I'm going to do is take off the edges, make it smooth. I should put some weight in my wheelbarrow so it doesn't move so much. I'm going to pause the camera and do that. I put two large blocks of wood in the wheelbarrow. Hopefully it will hold it down enough while I whittle down the wood. Let's start carving. Oh yeah, much better. decided to give the handles a light sanding just in case you might get a splinter it was pretty smooth with the draw knife you could sand the whole handle down if you want if you want it all nice and smooth but I don't bother wasting sandpaper so the last thing to do is uh, to test it out and make sure that it's not going to break so I'll bring you in closer take a look at the final product here let's do that right now So 
So there's one thing I almost forgot to do, and that's what I'm going to do here in a minute. I'm going to have to go tell my wife not to overload my wheelbarrow anymore so she doesn't break the handle. Anyways, thank you for watching Gel and Outdoors. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It will help me out to make further videos like this one. I just seen a mouse go by. <laughs> Pretty cold out here. Once again, thank you for watching Jolin Outdoors. We'll see you next time.